Do you want to be a one percenter truly and not just say it? Do you truly want to be the person that you preach about? Can you take advice or can you only give it? Okay, has everybody seen how fast I've grown my business? Okay, I'm just asking because I mean, I'm not here to sell you on it. I'm just asking, have you seen how fast we've grown it? I want, I want you to understand this. We started with zero salespeople four years ago and we trained 250,000 now, that's unheard of. Nobody has that, it doesn't exist. And by the way, we'll hit 500 next year. I know how we're gonna do it. I don't have a wish list. I don't have a wish plan for 2022. I have a business plan. Now I'm gonna ask you guys this. If tomorrow when you left this conference, you had a business plan, a business plan, a real set in stone plan for 2022 on how you could shave 15 years off and how you could get ahead and how you could get even more than you set forth that you wanted, would you commit to it? Aren't you sick of having a wish plan? I mean, I'm sick of it, right? It's really, it's re it really sucks. If I told you right now, look back over your business plan for 2021 and tell me where you went wrong or what happened right or where it went, you'd say, well, I knew I was gonna work hard, so I did. I knew I had to have a good attitude when I sold, so I showed up with a good attitude. And I trained, I took some courses. That's not a business plan. A business plan is called total domination. Those are the only business plans I, I make, okay? When I went home and my wife, by the way, I was just like you guys, and by the way, I still am like you guys. We're no different, we're all the same. But I went home to my wife, the first house I bought was 125 grand, the second house I bought was 250. Freaked the shit out of me, right? I was like, dude, that's a lot of dough. My wife says she wants to go buy this house. I told her if she had the balls to go knock on the door, kick the people out of their house, convince them to sell it, we'd do it. Didn't know it was gonna cost us 700 grand. Okay, listen man, I panicked. I'm gonna tell you this, there is a time that you have to answer to your skill and are you this good? And I honestly was playing small. I'm going way back on you guys here. But I know where you guys are and I want you to understand. I come from nothing. I don't care if you've had a lot. You guys gotta make your own way. And by the way, if anybody in this room has children, you're showing the way that your children can fight and break through barriers in life because they have it in your blood because you did it. You quit, they're gonna quit. Now's the time you don't have children. You need to prove to yourself that you can do it now so that they won't quit when you do have children and it is in their blood. There's lots of things why you'd go crazy. This next year is the day. She bought that house, but you know what's crazy? Is that I was playing small and I think a lot of you in here are playing small tonight. She said, Andy, because I was doing the math. This is the math I had. I go, okay, 700 grand, 30 years. What's that payment? Ooh. Okay, no, 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 we can do that. Well, then she tells me we're going to pay it off in two years. You might have heard this story. She goes, no, we're going to pay it off in two years. Okay, now you're talking crazy, all right? She's lost her mind, but you know what? We needed crazy. We all need crazy. The fact that we've been playing with sanity and being civilized, we've been letting the public set our standards and setting our own damn standards. We've been living by the economy that was set for us instead of making our own economy. Seriously. She looks at me and she says, Andy, you play so small. And I'm like, dude, and I go back to the victim. You don't know where I came from. My mom left when I was two. You don't know, I made bad grades. They told me I was the least likely to make it. You know what I mean? You know how much, what I've done. And this, she said, here we go. We're never gonna be able to get to what's next because you can't get, you're so holding on to the past that we can't let go and get the future. Listen to me. Do you want to be a one percenter truly and not just say it? Do you truly want to be the person that you preach about? Can you take advice or can you only give it? Like, let's just be honest. Dude, like all the stuff that just is like, <laughs> makes you want to just punch her, she was telling the truth. Do you guys want to hear the truth? Yeah. Cool, because I won't lie to you. I'll tell you the truth. The truth sucks. But the truth is the only thing that matters. Because you want to live your life a lie? 
cool. At the end of your life, you'll die with regrets. And you'll look back and I'll remember when she told me the damn truth and I should have listened, but do you know what I did? I listened to her. I threw my ego out the door, okay? First thing is everybody wants to go to the next level. Egos go in the trash can. They go in the trash, you're nobody, okay? You're nobody. Every day, you know what winning does to you? It does this, hey, I don't know you. Show up today, okay? You're, you're a winner, really? Let me see it. The winning you did yesterday, winning doesn't care about what you did yesterday. They don't, it doesn't give a sh Every morning it says, I don't recognize you. Can you show me who you are again? And you gotta show back up because that's what winners do. Winners don't live in the past on what they did before. We win every day till we die. We don't rest, hey, what did Kobe Bryant say? We don't rest in the middle, we rest when we're finished. Some of you guys are resting in the middle and I was resting in the middle. I didn't even get started yet and I was starting to slow down because I was doing better than everybody else said I was gonna do. I was already ready to put the crown on me. You know what? She said, you're stupid, man. We're gonna play small because you gave up and you freaking settled, you slowed down. Listen, you know what I did? We paid our house off in a year and a half, okay? And I stepped the fuck up. And I'm gonna tell you this, some of you guys in here, men, women, Laura, it's time to step up, okay? There's no such thing as disconnected. I'll get unplugged. What does that mean? You quit. Let's call it like it is, you quit. You don't do training sometimes, training in something you did, it's something you do every day till you die. Did Kobe Bryant play every day? practice every day do winners practice like they play yes winners do everything like they're playing the the freaking all-star game we're just playing playing around right now guess what I ain't gonna lose they're that kind of competitiveness and she told me she goes it's in everybody Andy and I was telling my team earlier back here in uh, in a meeting I said do you remember a baby when a baby's two it's like wee, 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 until it got what it wanted you remember that, Melanie? You remember when you had a baby? Anybody in here? Anybody? Is there a mom in here? Remember Jennifer when you had your kids, your three kids, right? When they were little, six months old, one year old. What happens? Anybody in here got a little baby under a year old? Listen, your baby, what does it do? What does it do? It cries until it gets it. Okay. That's the way you were born, right? That's called the raw instinct inside of you. Somewhere along the way, you gave that away. You know what? Imagine right now if you didn't get what you want. Could you imagine if you were like this with life? Wah, 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 until you got it, you would have everything you want. Somewhere you gave that away, you calmed down and you shut up. And now you're getting what they gave you. They set the standards instead of you setting your own standards. She started a new way of life for me. Okay, and I'm gonna start that way of life for you. B but only if you're ready to grow. Because I had to decide, do I have a scarcity mindset, which I had before the conversation, or an abundance mindset? Did I believe we were capable of more? Was I gonna brain my, brainwash myself with this new life that we could have, and that I really could be delusional and have all this? Or was I gonna brainwash myself with the negativity of the world, okay? and literally listen to everybody else tell me what I can't have.